Good morning. Thanks again for joining the Emancipate Show. I'm your host, Kel. Coming live from YouTube, riding my car while I'm on the job. So, yeah. Anyway, um, a guy couldn't afford to fix his girlfriend's car. So she asked her ex-boyfriend and he helped her. Now, to, uh, to this generation of people and some of the backwards-ass people back in the days, this is quite okay. This is this is okay. Oh, that's my channel. That's my my Facebook page right there, man. Page do remember to join, like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. So a lot of people think this is okay. You know what I'm saying? It's it's normal, and uh, you could have secrets behind your boyfriend or your your significant other back. That's this generation of people. The era that I'm from. I'm sorry, I'm old school. We don't play that. And if you're having secrets behind a person's back, that's not a good look. That's just an invitation for that person to have sex with you. Yeah, you might not want to have sex with you, but nobody's, most people is not going to do anything without something in return on the back end. Now, oh, these two broke up. I'm not even surprised. All right, moving forward. So some of the comments to them is that as a man, what perspective in uh, as a man what's your i guess you're supposed to put what's your perspective in this situation my perspective in this situation is that yo an ex is supposed to remain an ex why are you still communicating with your ex why are you having conversation with your ex why are you telling your ex about our business my man lucky pro first said oh boy better take this win and be done with it shorty congrats for her getting her car fixed lol i agree with that brother right there now my friend right here now said um amanda gates said he left the door open why would he even tell him where it came from you see you can't be trusted uh shalea whatever your name is at this point in at, at this point all our minds are on someone other some on some other shit we expect people to expect people to do for us what we want, what we won't do for them. We also want to do for others what we don't want done to us. Yeah, and in my perspective, this is cheating. And if you feel comfortable with the next man doing what your boyfriend is supposed to be doing for you, you're a bad person. You're a selfish, and you're a greedy and glutton person. There is nothing nothing that that's reeks cheating up that don't reek cheating about this this is a major turn off if i find that somebody do something like this behind my back you are out of here i don't care if we, we've been going out for whatever whatever we're done there's 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 nothing that could be worked out about this first of all why you can't wait you ever heard the saying a show little to cry on is a dick to ride on you think people is just doing shit just to do shit yes yeah, some people have good intentions but a lot of people have their hidden agenda on the back end. There is nothing that is cute about it. This is disgusting. This is an invitation of cheating. This is letting in the enemy in. And if you're doing stuff, telling your ex stuff behind my back, God knows what you're telling them about me when I'm around. So that means whenever I cannot do something for you, that's going to be your go-to. Why is the ex in still in the past? Why is the ex still current? Why is the ex doing shit that I'm supposed to be doing for you? Why you can't wait? What's the problem with you waiting until we get our stuff together then we fix your car? What's the problem? Like, I, I, just, I just don't get it. Like, why do you feel the need to run to your ex to be fixing stuff that we're supposed to be getting done? Right? Why people feel comfortable, like, okay, let me go ask my ex to get this and such and such and such done. That's not cute. And if I can't trust you with this, God knows all the other things that I can't trust you with. Trust is supposed to work hand in hand, two ways. How you let you feel so comfortable asking your ex to do something that I'm supposed to be doing. Anybody that do agree with something like this, keep an eye on them. Don't trust them. The same times that you see going up, it's the same signs you see going down. Pay attention, people.